Well, he's a big foe of big government and of the president's jobs plan. He joins me now exclusively. Uh, Ron Paul, what do you make of it? Not very impressed then. No, not too much. I'm certainly for the tax cuts, you know, the tax credits and the payroll cuts. I, I think that's fine, but uh, this is more tinkering on the edges. I don't think it'll do a thing for the jobs. I, I think that uh, capital resources have to be decided by individuals, not politicians and bureaucrats, because that's why we got into the trouble. There was too much of that for so long. And it doesn't address the subject of debt. Matter of fact, it, I'm sure it'll increase the debt because next week we'll find out how he's going to pay for it. But uh, it, there's a huge debt burden. An individual can't get out from under debt unless he does something. He has to work harder. He has to liquidate debt. He has to pay off the debt. Or he has to declare bankruptcy. I think our biggest problem is this country doesn't want to admit we're bankrupt and we have to have a changed way of living. I mean, we can't maintain our empire and the entitlement system as we are, and uh, that's, that's what our problem is. So this kind of stuff, another $400, $500 billion, is just more of the same, and I cannot understand how people think, oh, by next summer we're going to have a, a lot of jobs. I, I just don't buy that. But doesn't the president have to do something dramatic? I mean, he couldn't just sit by with the jobless figures as they are touching 10% and do nothing that was uh, even remotely significant. I mean, he has to come and well, do something we, to tackle this problem. And the country yeah. may not have much money, but, it, you know, he's still got to do something, isn't he? Yeah, well, you know, I think you state the, the, the problem we have. I think that most everybody would agree. You're absolutely right. We have to do something. But, you know, in 1921, the Depression that came after the inflation for World War I, we did nothing, and it was over in a year. But in the Depression, well, we had to do something. Then the attitude was changed, and we accepted Keynesian economics. Everybody had to do something. But if we would have done a lot less in 08, instead of bailing out everybody, bailing out all the mistakes and propping up the debt, dumping all the debt into the federal reserve which meant it was dumped on the people and the people lost their jobs and then lost their houses so i would say yes you should have done a lot less a lot sooner but politically it's a tough sale because people have been conditioned to say it's the government's responsibility to take care of me even if the government is the people and the government is broke and the jobs are gone so we have to change our whole philosophy of running the economy the people should run the economy and not buy into this idea idea that uh, the entitlement system can be preserved and we don't have to cut anywhere and as long as we believe that I, I just don't think we're going to do much better so I'm looking for in the long term we're going to keep slipping and sliding and I don't see an improvement at the rate we're going for a long time to come.